if you could, would you have traded places with today's players? If you could, instead of playing in the era in which you did compete against who you did play against, if you could play in today's era of golf, would you switch? Why or why not? Financially, the answer is easy. The, the, the answer is very easy. Of course you'd want to play now. I just saw the other day, was it Scotty Scheffler won $4 million at Bay Hill. I'm, not, I'm excluding the Players' Championship here. And the very same week, there was an opposite tournament, Puerto Rico, where Bryce Garnett won. Bryce Garnett, the total prize money was $4 million. So Scotty wins, it's the same week, right? Scotty wins $4 million for first, and the total prize money at Puerto Rico was $4 million. So the game has changed dramatically. Tiger Woods had a huge impact on that. So from a financial point of view, then there's no question. Uh, I think I've, I've, I'm on record. I think golf is right now for the sport and the audience. I think uh, they're overpaid, massively overpaid. That, that's no disrespect. That's just if you consider apples for apples. But the generation that I played in, um, and especially the time that I had in Europe, you you learned a lot more. I, I think you were less naive, you were less mollycoddled. Um, and, and I think people had a better grasp of reality in the generation. And the generation prior to me would probably say the same thing as well. They'd probably say their generation had a better grasp of reality, reality than what mine did. But I like the fact that there was a struggle. You really did know what $100 meant. And, um, and now, you know, it's, as soon as you win, you're flying privately. I know that's a generalization. Um, they are, the, the, they've taken it to the nth degree, hearing Jay Monahan the other day just saying, I look after 200 players. I'm like, no, Jay, you don't. You actually look after a lot more than that. You still look after the Champions Tour. You look after the Corn Ferry Tour. You are actually our custodian to the game. And I think we've lost, we've lost touch with that. The, the, the viewers are getting turned off because they hate this acrimony that we all know. I mean, the elephant in the room, right? Because they play the game. That's so important. So, you know, if Jay was also on the court, so no, Jay, you actually look after the game that everybody watches. And the fact that we can't agree with the USJ and the RNA when they want to change something, you know, there's an obligation. And I just think this generation has sort of forgotten part of that obligation at times. Do you think then, Frank, that the, that the game, at least at its highest competitive tiers, is it in a dangerous place? Oh, it's very much so. Hindsight's twenty twenty. It's we're in the same spot we really really were three years ago, and I know it's easy to say and it's and it's tough. But if Jay picked up the phone then, would we be in the same spot? The answer would be no. We if if it looked like the same spot, we'd be in it for a different reason, um, and and that's why you get paid the big bucks. I think for those decisions and in any company, and it's tough. It's very very hard. But you know the buck has to stop with somebody. So yeah, it is dangerous because we're not big enough. Um, the game is too slow. I know, and part of that is because the ball goes so far and they're, and they're trying to make the courses so hard. So, yeah, I feel for the guys. The green, um, but you know, these things up there where it's like a five lane high, where we get five times, you can obviously the, the motorway slows down. We're slowing down, but we're not a five lane high. We're playing small fields every week. It, it, this, this year has had great stories sad viewer home doesn't know enough of the players that have broken through because normally that would happen at a slower pace so that part's happening quickly but the actual game um you know i like all the innovations i'm a tech freak myself and whether it's aimpoint express or whatever but you know if it takes 60 seconds and it takes more than that to hit a shot right if they played like people used to in years gone by 40 seconds right you would be able to show a third more shots that's a lot more. I know people want to see more shots, and I heard that the other day, just show more golf. It's not that hard because people take forever sometimes over a two-foot part. I, I didn't think I was a speed merchant, but you know, relative to now, and I, and I think that's where you have to look at the product and you have to look at the people playing, and, and, and people do copy. The next generation is going to copy what they do. And you already see it. I see kids here at the Lopia doing the same thing. So we're passing on a slower version each generation. Um, if I watch basketball and they took a minute or two minutes, every free throw would go crazy. You really would. Or a penalty kick in soccer. Um, and that's what we're doing with our sports. So, yeah, I, I really do think we need a micro and a macro view of our game. And at the moment, it's just all about money and keeping top players here and all this and, and just sort of kicking the can down the road. Decisions have to be made and they have to be made, made quickly. And they haven't been. 